What's up guys, it's Cal, and in this video I'll be showing you elemental shamans on the battle for Azeroth beta. We'll be going through the changes to their baseline abilities and passives, as well as their talents and PvP talents, and there are quite a bit of changes. Now just like my other overview videos, this video is not meant to tell you which talents to pick for the best DPS, or if elemental is better than enhancement of DPS. This is merely to show you what's to come. So, let's get started. So here are all the baseline abilities for the elemental shamans. First off, we have Ancestral Spirit, that is your res. It's not changed at all. You res someone to 35% max health and mana and cannot be cast while in combat, of course. Cleanse Spirit is not changed. It's a can cooldown. You remove all curse effects from a friendly target. Uh, then we have Healing Surge, which is not changed. It is just a normal heal. Uh, Chain Lightning just has a small change to it, so it still hurls a Lightning Bolt. It hits up to five total targets with nature damage, but it will generate three Maelstrom per target hit now instead of a six on live. It's just half a bit. Earthquake. So Earthquake's effect is the same. Causes the Earth within eight yards of the target location, trembles, does damage over six seconds, and then can sometimes knock enemies down. The only change to it is it will cost 75 Maelstrom now, up from 50. So they've increased it by an, a whopping 25 Maelstrom. Thunderstorm is not changed, still 45 second cooldown. You shoot down a Bolt of Lightning that does nature damage to all targets within 10 yards, reduces their movement speed by 40% for 5 seconds, and it knocks enemies back. And it's uh, usable while stunned. Astral Shift is not changed, 1.5 minute cooldown. You shift partially into the elemental planes, taking 40% less damage for 8 seconds. Then we have Earthbind Totem, which is not changed at all. So 30 second cooldown, you put it down for 20 seconds, anybody who walks near it gets slowed. So Tremor Totem is actually returning. This was removed in Legion, I believe, and it does the same thing uh, before it was removed. So it's a one minute cooldown, summons an Earth Totem with five health at the feet of the caster that shakes the ground around it for 10 seconds, removes all fear, charm, and sheep effects from the party and raid members within 30 yards. Now Capacitor Totem is returning Kind of. I mean, so the thing about Capacitor Totem is that it was removed in Legion, but it was replaced by Lightning Search Totem, which was a talent. Now its name is going back to Capacitor Totem, and it's baseline now, so you don't have to talent it. Uh, and it does the same thing. One minute cooldown, it's an AoE stun. After two seconds, it stuns all enemies within eight yards for three seconds. Water walking, not changed. You put on a friendly target, they can walk on water for 10 minutes. Astral Recall is not changed, 10 minute cooldown. It is like another hearth. So Frost Shock has a small change to it, I mean its effect is the same, chose a target with frost causing some frost damage and reducing the target's movement speed by 50% for 6 seconds. That's the same, it still slows targets. The only change to it is it will cost no maelstrom at all, so on live it costs anywhere from 0 to 20. I believe the effect even says that the more maelstrom you use on it increases its damage and duration by up to 100%, but that effect is no longer part of a frost shock. So it will cost zero Maelstrom from now on. Lightning Bolt now generates six Maelstrom down from eight Maelstrom. Does the same thing. It's still like a filler move. Does nature damage. It just generates less Maelstrom now. Flame Shock. The same thing with Frost Shock. So its effect is still the same. Six second cooldown. Sears the target with the fire causing fire damage and then additional fire damage over 18 seconds. Well, I believe that 18 seconds is increased on live. That's 15 seconds. So that's been increased 18 seconds. But just same thing with Frost Shock, as I just mentioned. It will no longer cost any Maelstrom. Uh, the part of it where, which says Maelstrom increases damage and duration by up to 100% was removed. So there's that. Uh, Lava Burst. Only change to it is that it generates 8 Maelstrom down from 12 Maelstrom on live. It does the same thing. 8 second cooldown hurls molten lava at the target, dealing fire damage. Lava Burst will always critically strike if the target is affected by Flame Shock. So yeah, costs less Maelstrom. Now Earth Shock, the only change to it is it will now cost a strict 60 Maelstrom. So I believe on live it's like 10 to 100 Maelstrom it will cost. And the more Maelstrom you spend on it, increases its damage. Now it just costs a strict 60 Maelstrom. And, but it still instantly shocks the target with Concussive Force, causing some nature damage. Uh, wind shear is unchanged, 12, 12 second cooldown, it's still your interrupt. Purge is not changed, it will purge the enemy target, removing one beneficial magic effect. Uh, hex is not changed, 30 second cooldown, you can hex one target, only humanoids and beasts. Ghost wolf is not changed, you turn to your ghost wolf, increasing your movement speed by 30%, and you cannot be reduced, your movement speed cannot be reduced below 100%. Uh, earth elemental is unchanged, so 5 minute cooldown, you call down a greater earth elemental to protect you, and your allies for one minute. Now Fire Elemental, I feel like became a more manageable DPS cooldown. Its cooldown is being reduced from five minutes down to two and a half minutes, so you can use it more, but it will stay up for 30 seconds down from one minute. So its cooldown and its duration staying up have been half. And the second effect of it is new. 
So while the greater fire elemental is active, flame shock generates three maelstrom when it deals damage over time. Far sights does not change. You can look at a uh, distance far away for one minute, unlimited range. Heroism, of course, not change. Five minute cooldown. You increase everyone in your party or raids. Uh, haste by 30% for 40 seconds. And then they, of course, get that exhausted debuff, whatever, whatever. Uh, now let's take a look at the passive abilities. So Elemental Fury is not changed at all. Your damage critical strikes deal 250% damage instead of the usual 200%. So not changed. So Fulmination is like a passive, I guess, sort of. It's new, kind of, uh, not really. There was actually an ability before Legion. It was removed in Legion called Fulmination for Elemental Shamans, but it does it completely different than what this one does. So what this one says is damage from your lightning bolt generates six maelstrom, lava burst spells generate eight maelstrom, and your chain lightning generates three maelstrom. On live, they still generate maelstrom, but there was no actual passive that told you that. They just made a passive in BFA that tells you that. Uh, lava surge, slight buff to it. So your flame shock damage over time is a 15% chance on live, that's 10%, to reset the remaining cooldown on lava burst and cause your next lava burst to be instant and then your mastery is unchanged your lightning bolt to lava burst and chain lightning casts have a percentage chance to trigger a second cast on the same target for 85 percent of normal damage and generates less maelstrom and then uh, reincarnation of course not changed you can res yourself every 30 minutes for 20 percent health and 20 percent mana so as far as passives go the only passive that was removed was elemental focus and what that did is your direct damage spell critical strikes increase the damage and healing of your next two spells by 10 percent so it's no longer a passive so let's take a look at the talents where there's a ton of changes too. Well, mostly there's just a bunch of shuffling around, but there are definitely changes. And I'll also go over the PvP talents in case you care about those. So for the first tier, Exposed Elements is new. Earthshock now increases the damage of your next lightning bolt on the target by 100%. Uh, Echo of the Elements was moved all the way up here, all the way up to the first tier, but it's unchanged. So Lava Burst now has two charges, effects that reset its remaining cooldown will, will instead grant one charge. So unchanged and then elemental blast was also just unchanged it was moved all the way up here but unchanged 12 second cooldown harness the raw power of the elements dealing some elemental damage and increasing your critical strike haste or mastery by 366 for 10 seconds so now let's look at the level 30 tier aftershock was moved up a couple tiers and it has, uh, I guess, slightly been nerfed. So your spells have a 25% chance on live, that's 30%, to refund the Maelstrom spent on them. Master of the Elements is new. So casting Lava Burst increases the damage of your next Nature or Frost spell by 20%. And then to Totem Mastery was just moved down a tier, but it's unchanged. So it still summons four Totems that increase your combat capabilities for two minutes. Resonance Totem generates you one Maelstrom every second. Storm Totem increases the chance for Lightning Bolt and Chain Lightning to trigger Elemental Overload by 5%. Ember Totem increases the Flame Shock damage over time by 10%. And then Tailwind Totem increases your haste by 2%. So it's unchanged. Let's just move down a tier. So Spirit Wolf is new. While transformed into Ghost Wolf, you gain 5% increased movement speed and 5% damage reduction every one second, stacking up to four times. So that actually seems uh, pretty good. So now Earth Shield, this used to be a Resto Honor talent. Well, first it was a Resto ability, and then Legion it was turned into a Resto Honor talent. Now Elemental has it as a talent. So what it does is it's instant. It protects the target with an Earth and Shield, increasing your healing on them by 10% and healing them for some amount when they take damage. It has nine charges. This heal can only occur once every few seconds. Earth Shield can only be placed on one target at a time. And then Static Charge is new because Capacitor Totem is baseline. So it reduces the cooldown of Capacitor Totem by five seconds for each enemy. It stuns up to a maximum reduction of 20 seconds. So it can have a cooldown of uh, 40 seconds if you stun a bunch of targets with it. So high voltage is new. Lightning Bolt and Chain Lightning have a 50% chance of normal chance to cause a second elemental overload. Storm Elemental, this one's actually a pretty interesting one, uh, and it's also new. So two and a half minute cooldown, this will replace Fire Elemental. It calls forth a greater Storm Elemental to hurl gusts of wind that damage the Shaman's enemies for 30 seconds. While the Storm Elemental is active, each time you cast Lightning Bolt or Chain Lightning, the cast time of Lightning Bolt and Chain Lightning is reduced by 3%, and that sucks up to 20 times. So that is, uh, what, 60% cast time reduction. And my Chain Lightning already has a, uh, what does it have? 1.8 second cast time. So that means with 20 stacks, it has a, like, less than 0.9 second cast time. 
so pretty much instant cast. And then Liquid Magma Totem, which was just moved up two tiers, but it's completely unchanged. So it still has a one minute cooldown, it will summon a totem at the target's location for 15 seconds, hurls Liquid Magma at random and nearby enemies every 0.9-ish one seconds, dealing some fire damage to all enemies within 8 yards. And then for the level 75 tier, Nature Guardian is returning, so this was actually removed in Legion, and it was just changed a bit, I think. It's still passive, when your health is brought to below 35%, you instantly heal for 20% of your max health, and it cannot occur more than once every 45 seconds. And then Ancestral Guidance was moved down to this tier, and it still has a 2 minute cooldown for the next 10 seconds, 25% on live, that's 20% of your damage and healing is converted to healing up to, I don't know how to read, 3 nearby injured party array members. So it was uh, slightly buffed. And then Windrush Totem was just moved down to this tier, but it's unchanged. 2 minute cooldown summons the totem at the target location for 15 seconds, continually granting all allies who pass through it within 10 yards, 60% increased movement speed for 5 seconds. Level 90 tier, Earth and Rage was moved all the way down to this tier. Uh, I believe it was on the first tier before, but yeah, moved all the way down to this tier. And I believe it was unchanged, so you're damaging spells inside the Earth around you to come to your A for 6 seconds, repeatedly dealing nature damage to your most uh, recently attacked target. And the Primal Elementalist was moved down a tier, and that's also unchanged. Your Earth, Fire, and Storm elements are drawn from Primal Elements. 80% more powerful than regular elementals with additional abilities and you gain direct control over them. And then Ice Fury was moved up a tier. As I said, there's just a lot of shuffling around going on. Uh, but it was just, I think, slightly nerfed. So 30 second cooldown, hurls a frigid ice at the target, dealing some frost damage and causing your next four frost shocks to deal 100% increased damage on live, that's 400%. And it will generate 15 maelstrom, down from the 24 maelstrom it does on live. Then for the final tier, unlimited power is new. So when your spells cause an elemental overload, you gain 2% haste for 10 seconds, gaining a stack does not refresh the duration. And then Stormkeeper. So Stormkeeper was the elemental shaman artifact ability, so we won't have artifact weapons anymore, obviously. So now Stormkeeper is in the form of a talent. And it was just changed slightly. So it's a one minute cooldown. Charge yourself with lightning, causing your next two lightning bolts or chain lightnings to be instant cast and trigger an elemental overload on every target. I believe that last uh, bit is changed. But yeah, then there's Ascendance, which is unchanged. So three minute cooldown, transforms into a Flame Ascendant for 15 seconds, replacing Chain Lightning with Lava Beam, removing the cooldown of Lava Burst and increasing the damage of Lava Burst by an amount equal to your critical strike chance. So those are all of the talents. As I said, there's quite a bit of changes, a lot of shuffling around, but now let's take a look at the PvP talents. So if you're unaware of how PvP talents will work in BFA, this is how it goes. You have four bubbles here. This first bubble is the same for all classes and all specs. It has Relentless, Adaptation, and Gladiator's Medallion. These are all on the first tier on live, and they're all unchanged. You get to pick between one of these. These next three bubbles are giant pool of your already existing uh, honor talents. So it's no longer on a tier system, it's on this giant pool system. So three you might really like that are on the same tier on live. You can pick all three of them in BFA, except they did prune a few of them off. So, uh, most of them are still here. Now, as far as changes go to them, pretty much all of them have been unchanged. There have only been, like, I think one or two changes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read the names of them. I'm going to mouse over them. If you want to know what they do, you can look at your Elemental Shaman, or you can pause the video, since I will be mousing over them. But for the one or two that have, like, changes to them, I will talk about what those changes are, of course. So first off, we have Elemental Attunement. Control of Lava. Earth Fury. Now, Earth Fury wasn't changed, but it's kind of interesting to me. So it says casting Earth Shock when you have at least 100 Maelstrom will stun the target for two seconds. So, as I said, that's that's the same thing it does on live. But the thing is, Earth Shock has a static 60 Maelstrom cost now. It doesn't cost 10 to 100 Maelstrom. So, I guess if you just have 100 Maelstrom, then you cast Earth Shock, which brings you down to 40 Maelstrom. It'll stun the target for two seconds. I don't know. I guess it made more sense before because you could spend up to 100 Maelstrom on it. But yeah, I don't know. There's Traveling Storms. Lightning Lasso. Spectral Recovery. Sky Fury Totem. Counter Strike Totem. Purifying Waters. Grounding Totem. Now, Grounding Totem is new to Elemental. So this was used to just be a Resto Honor Talent. Now new to Elemental. So it does the same thing as it did for Resto. 30 second cooldown, summons an air totem with 5 health at the feet of the caster that will redirect all harmful spells cast on nearby party or bear members 
to itself will not redirect to area of effect spells last three seconds. Uh, and then there's Swelling Waves. So those are all of the honor talents as well as all of the normal talents. And there you have it, all the changes to Elemental Shamans in Battle for Azeroth. And these changes will be going into effect in mid-July, so probably July 17th if I were to guess. But I'm curious to know what you guys think. Do you like these changes or do you hate them? i like to know in the comments below. But if you guys enjoyed this video, then you can leave a like on it. You can sub to the channel for more videos like this. And I'll see you guys in the next video.